It wasn't all that long ago when people were so naive to think that the very chaotic nature of war could be controlled. Looking to get an advantage over the enemy, one nation sought out new technology to gain the advantage. The introduction of what would become known as the Advent changed the landscape of war. Artificially driven machines, these Advents, would transform war into a game. Disagreements would be settled over who would be the victor in designated battle areas located across the globe. In theory, the idea was sound. To prevent loss of life, soldiers of each nation would become expert operators and handle these battles from a safe distance. But everything changed, as nothing will ever remain constant. The hub of control for all Advent artificial intelligence, Atlas, malfunctioned. Every Advent around the world went berserk, and a full-scale revolt occurred. For years, humanity did its best to survive, but the Advents continued to overpower them. Until the company that would be known as Genesis developed a new weapon. A machine that would be operated by a single human pilot. These frames, as they were called, became the shining beacon humanity was looking for. One test pilot was chosen to pilot the prototype machine. He alone was the only one, at the time, capable of handling it. This one pilot managed to disable the hub, Atlas, and deactivated the remaining advent. People realized that relying on artificial intelligence alone was unstable, and conflict found its way back to putting men and women into harm's way. Humanity, surviving what they felt was their ultimate and inevitable end, became reborn with new goals in mind. The calendar year was adjusted to celebrate this birthing, and on the first year of After Rebirth, everything began anew. You've run out of time. Is everything ready? No. And they won't be. So that's how it's going to be played then. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. You have to have other frames, right? Let me borrow one! Not a chance. The situation's already chaotic. I'm not gonna send out a civilian into that mess. Just be patient and believe in your friend. That's all we can do for now. That's a little bullshit! Mike! Just... stop. What about that other machine? Why did they pause? Why didn't they just finish it off? Our foreign affairs representative, Harold Kakis, and his daughter were taken hostage not too long ago. They're in that machine. Amy... is on that thing? Sean... how... how is he going to... He'll figure something out. He has to. Come on, you stubborn bastard. Can't you go any faster? I'm trying! Just... just don't worry! I'll get you out of here! I promise! I'm scared. I know. If you can't save us, then... Don't talk like that! I made you a promise! And I intend to keep it! Thank you. What? Don't thank me yet! That just sounds weird. You know about my mom. You knew how I felt about everything, and yet you were still willing to embrace me and all my negative emotions. I told you to stop talking like that. You know that night on New Year's meant a lot to me. But right after it, you were gone with your father. We haven't been given a chance yet, so don't go off talking like this. Not now! It's too late. I'm sorry. Amy? You're in the way. Ah! 